My name is Anthony Allen, welcome here to my YouTube channel and in this video we are going to tackle lesson 5 of a 10 part series that I'm running for Final Cut Pro 10 beginners and it's coming up right after this intro. My name is Anthony Allen and welcome back to this 10 part series for Final Cut Pro. This is a 10 part tutorial, so if you've missed any lessons, I advise you go back and watch those as there's some really important information that will really help you when using Final Cut Pro 10. So in this lesson, we're going to begin to use tools to edit our media within our timeline. So one of the most important tools is the selection tool, and it's actually what is already selected by default is the mouse and this allows you to select pieces of media within your timeline. Have a go of doing that now. But it's also useful for sound waves. For example, if we zoom into this piece of media here, if you don't know how to zoom in, I advise you go back and watch our previous lessons. You can select a sound wave decibel level. This is basically the volume level of a piece of sound. As you can see, there's an arrow pointing up and down when I'll have my mouse over the line, which is the volume level of that sound. I'm gonna drag my mouse down while I have this selected. And up. And you can see that I am adjusting the sound waves within the timeline. For example, let's drag this down to 16, minus 16 dB, and let's press play. That is a lot more soothing on the ear, and we have already begun to piece together the feeling and emotion that we want from these pieces of media. Let's zoom back out. You can also use a selection tool to drag the length of a piece of media within your timeline. For example, this waterfall clip goes for quite some time. Let's press play to sample this within the, pre within the preview window. I want, when the strings begin to play, the transition begins to happen. So what I'm going to do in order to do this, is I'm going to go to the edge of the waterfall clip. And as you can see, there is a edge sort of icon with a movie strip, a film strip, being highlighted there. When you click, you can see which edge you are trying to select. If you click and hold, you can now drag the length of this piece of media, but notice how the magnetic timeline keeps the following media connected. This is so there's no gaps. So around about this point, or maybe just a little bit further, is what we're looking for. I use my playhead as an indicator of how far I want it to go. Now let's press play in the middle of this clip. Beautiful. Everything is coming together nicely. So, what other tools can we use to make clips smaller within our timeline? There is one more. I want you to go up to the tools here and I want you to select this. As you can see, there is a trim tool, a position tool, a range selector, a blade tool, a zoom tool, and the hand. The hand tool you've already used. The hand tool is what you used to drag a piece of media from the browser 
into the timeline. The trim tool we've also already used. We used it manually a second ago. The range selector we haven't and the position tool we also sort of have. The blade tool is what I want you to focus on next because this is one that you'll be using the most within Final Cut Pro 10. You can select it here, but there is also a shortcut for the blade tool, which is the letter B. But for the purpose of the tutorial, let's select the blade tool. As you can see, this has changed how the mouse looks. You can now see a blade. Final Cut Pro references the old school way of editing film via a film strip. We used to cut the film strip with a blade and then take that together until it makes a complete reel. That is how you would make a transition. Just a little bit of history for you there. Now I already know where I want to cut this because the playhead is there. So I'm going to hover my blade over the playhead now and then we're going to click. We have now just made an incision. In order to get rid of the extra piece of media that we do not want, we need to select it. The shortcut for the selection tool is the letter A. We can now select this piece of media. To delete it, press the delete button or backspace. We have now successfully removed that extra piece of media we did not want within our timeline. Let's have a look. looking extremely blissful and sort of getting to the point that we want our media and our story in which we're trying to tell to get to. So it can convey a message. You've just successfully completed lesson five. If you've enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more lessons within Final Cut Pro 10. My name's Anthony Allen and I'd love to see you in the next lesson here on my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.